I always need a battery jump box to jump start somebody's car or to run 12 volt accessories, but I got really tired of the little batteries inside just dying spontaneously of having to worry about whether or not you charge them for more than 24 hours and also not having enough cranking amps to actually start a Tahoe with a motorcycle battery. So I decided to build the best battery boost box that could possibly be made. And so here I've got this mini Coda trolling motor box. It has ports on the outside to tap into whatever vehicle you're using it for, but it also has 12 volt plug ports on the sides and an indicator on the top to tell you how charged it is. So this whole thing is held together by a zip strip and then the lid comes off. And inside, I loaded an Optima gel cell 12 volt car battery. This is a Group 27 battery. It cost 199 bucks on Amazon and it's supposed to last me a couple years um, and I expect that it will. So in order to connect it to the trolley motor box, I attached a couple of these terminals that allow you to attach directly to the lead post, but then also have a screw-in terminal that will connect to the top of the mini coda box. And I put one of those on both sides and then you can see it comes with a tray from Optima that fits perfectly at the bottom of the box and holds it still except for the left or right. So I just padded it with the styrofoam that the actual Optima came in and then made sure that it couldn't shift left or right either. So now it's securely held inside there. Inside the Mini Coda, there are ring terminals like that for both the positive and negative. So I'm going to connect both of those ring terminals to the terminal posts that I attached on top and then charge it up. This box can hold a part 25 or part 27 battery. And I think I may have said this was a 27, but as you can see, the one that I got from eBay is a group 25. It's perfectly. So that's how the terminals connect to the battery terminals. I put on the lid, cinched the strap down really tight, and then cut off the excess piece of the bottom, and I'll seal that with a lighter in just a minute to make sure it doesn't fray. That way there's no unnecessary strap. When this is added, the battery weighs 33 pounds, I think. So I'm gonna check it with my scale. So with the box attached, the whole thing weighs about 38 pounds. It's not lightweight, but I'm not looking for a lightweight portable unit. I want industrial strength and durability. I'm gonna charge it with this trickle charger that I got also on Amazon. Um, it's not very expensive and it's supposed to continually maintain the charge without wearing down the battery. So I'm gonna plug it in and start out with using these spring clips and then I may switch to something that works a little better on the threaded terminals on the outside of the battery box by the time I'm done, but I want to make sure the concept works before I go any further with it. So I'm going to go slap the charger on it and see how it does. Well, I connected the trickle charger and it said 12.9 volts about two minutes ago. So it appears to be charging well and it's on its way up. And if it doesn't last me two years jumping everything that I ever wanted it to, then I'll put that in the comments. Thanks for watching.